What you are about to see changed the world forever. Darkness, then blinding light. The stinging radiance recedes, revealing black earth, a sky on fire, and a distant plume of smoke. This is no ordinary bomb. It is the first atomic explosion. Its detonation marks a new era in human history. Welcome to the Atomic Age. It is sometimes hard to appreciate the revolutionary implications of this technology. Here today are three real videos that will show just that. Videos that demonstrate the raw power of atomic weapons. This is what the end of the world looks like. Welcome to Wars of the World. The clip you saw at the start of this video was the Trinity nuclear test. Taking place on the morning of July 16th, 1945, it marked the first successful detonation of an atomic weapon in human history. In absolute secrecy, the UK program codenamed Tube Alloys and the American program it merged with, the Manhattan Project, had tested the possibility that small masses of uranium-235 could create bombs thousands of times more powerful than TNT. The Trinity nuclear test proved that it could. Conducted in New Mexico, in the depths of the Jornada del Muerto Desert, appropriately meaning Journey of Death, the site was totally isolated. Bunkers were built 9,000 meters north, west, and south of the explosion to protect observers and the observation equipment used to record the chilling footage. A 100-foot-high steel tower was made. It was from this tower that the wire-covered experimental bomb, known as the Gadget, was detonated. Seconds before 5.30 a.m., the bomb went off. A brief, intense flash of light was the first sight, visible for 160 miles. For that brief moment, night turned to day. And after the light, a fireball. A column of smoke launched into the sky, flattening into a mushroom-shaped cloud. At the blast center itself, the explosion left a crater half a mile wide. The heat was so intense that asphalt and sand melted, leaving a green, glassy substance called trinitite all around. All in all, the power of this explosion was measured to be equal to that of 22,000 tons of TNT. J. Robert Oppenheimer was the lead scientist in the Manhattan Project, and many know him as the father of the atomic bomb. He described the moment following the successful Trinity test like this. I remembered the line from the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita. Vishnu is trying to persuade the prince that he should do his duty, and to impress him, takes on his multi-armed form, and says, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. However you interpret the man's true feeling, the intensity this recollection triggers is written all over Oppenheimer's face, conveyed in his emotionally strained speech. There may be more dramatic video footage of explosions out there, but the footage of the Trinity nuclear test was the first, and it changed world history like no other. Not even one month later, such a weapon would be dropped on the people of Japan. Humanity was in the atomic age, whether we were ready or not. What you are about to see is one of the most breathtaking and horrifying videos of a nuclear blast on record. Only recently declassified and digitized by the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, this video provides an unparalleled insight into the world's most destructive weapon. 
Known as the Juniper Test, it was one of the 35 atomic bombs detonated in the Pacific during Operation Hardtack 1, which lasted from December 1957 to March 1958. It was tested on the American Pacific Colony, the Bikini Atoll, an area removed of all inhabitants in 1946 and still uninhabitable to this day. On the 22nd of June 1958, a 65 kiloton bomb, four times as powerful as the bomb dropped on Hiroshima, was detonated. The conditions that day resulted in a film that looks incredibly bleak and foreboding, if not outright evil, with the blast's mushroom cloud appearing charcoal black as it rises from the sea. Let's watch. Between the central ball of plasma, hotter than the surface of the sun, to the shock wave hurtling across the water and the force of the blast pushing back the clouds, it is difficult to shake the feeling that you are there yourself. Breathtaking and beautiful footage of death given form. Other nuclear tests were more significant, some tested more powerful weapons, but none capture the raw horror of the atomic explosion quite like this one. The scientists called it AN-602. The CIA called it Joe-111. Nikita Khrushchev called it something different when talking to Vice President Nixon in 1959. He threatened to show him Kuska's mother. To the world, it would be known as the Tsar Bomb. You know something's a big deal when it has that many names, and the Tsar Bomb was as big as they came. Eight meters long, 2.1 meters in diameter, Weighing some 27,000 kilograms, this Soviet-made atomic bomb was huge, and that size wasn't just for show. The Tsar bomb was tremendously destructive. At its time of creation, the culmination of a decade of work, the Tsar bomb was the most powerful nuclear weapon ever made. Tested on the 30th of October, 1961, it remains the most powerful nuclear device ever detonated. Recording energy yields equivalent to around 50 megatons of TNT, the detonation of the Tsar bomb is the most powerful man-made explosive ever detonated. For a brief sense of scale, one megaton of TNT is the equivalent to 1,000 kilotons. Perhaps you remember the tragic explosion of ammonium nitrate in Beirut on August the 4th, 2020. It was an explosion so large it killed at least 200, injured 6,500, and caused 10 to 15 billion dollars worth of damage. An explosion so huge it caused literal earthquakes, measuring 3.3 magnitude on the seismic scale, with an audible bang heard in Cyprus, more than 150 miles away. That blast in Beirut had the force of 1.1 kilotons of TNT. That makes it 45,000 times less powerful than the Tsar bomb. This is a weapon that dwarfs even other nuclear weapons in magnitude. The only atomic bombs to ever have been used in armed conflict were the American-made Little Boy and Fat Man. Dropped on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, they had respective blast yields of 15 kilotons and 21 kilotons. Add the power of both bombs together and multiply it by 1570 times, and then you approach the power of the Tsar bomb. It truly was incredible, 
In fact, if you take every conventional weapon exploded during the entire of the Second World War, the Tsar bomb was ten times as powerful as that. As for the test itself, you can scarcely imagine the kind of damage this explosion caused, even in such a remote area. When this apocalyptic bomb was detonated, it could be seen far and wide. The mushroom cloud, made up of smoke and dust from the vaporized, pulverized landscape, reached up to 40 miles, seven times higher than Mount Everest. At its highest altitude, it was higher even than the stratosphere. The top of the cloud had a width of 59 miles, casting a dark, terrible shadow around it. In Soviet districts located over 100 miles away, wooden houses were demolished and brick and stone ones suffered extensive damages. Radio communication outages were reported across the Arctic. One test witness felt the thermal effects at a distance of 170 miles, despite wearing dark goggles at the time. The intense heat from the detonation was capable of causing third degree burns at a distance of 62 miles from ground zero. Windows shattered at a distance of 560 miles, and due to the atmospheric focusing of the shockwave, other windows would shatter as far away as Norway and Finland. Despite being an airburst detonated 13,000 feet above ground, the Tsar bomb's seismic magnitude was estimated at 5 to 5.25. Once again, this bomb was detonated in the air, 13,000 feet above ground, and it caused huge earthquakes. The damage and devastation wrought by thermonuclear weapons like the Tsar bomb is unimaginable. If such a weapon was exploded in one of the world's largest cities, it would have the power to destroy not just the urban centers, but the entire metropolitan areas surrounding the suburbs. We all know that nuclear weapons are incredibly powerful, but seeing this footage, witnessing the moment an atomic weapon explodes, that is to appreciate their horrifying destructive capability in an entirely new way. It's a dangerous world out there. Those in power are not always rational, and governments make mistakes all the time. Tough words can turn into tough actions, and things can escalate fast. Should you hear a politician crying for military intervention or a show of force, remember that there are something like 13,890 nuclear warheads in the world, and that's just the ones countries admit to having. Certainly, some of them will be held by countries you are viewing this from, but do they really make the world safer? For the sake of the human race, we better damn well hope so. And there you have video footage of the greatest atomic weapons. Feel free to leave a comment down below with your own thoughts and reactions, and remember to like this video and subscribe to support the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.